so the story that is included within the anthology is a fragment from my most recent novel, Museo Animal, Animal Museum, would be the translation. And basically, in it, we encounter the figure of the Apostle, who is uh, an enigmatic figure that is guiding this family throughout the Latin American jungle in search for an anarchist commune in Central America. So I would say that my favorite classic novel, it changes from time to time, but I would say that it would be William Faulkner's Absalom Absalom, a wonderful novel about the decadence of the American South after the Civil War. And if I had to choose a contemporary or relatively contemporary book, I would say W.G. Sebald's Austerlitz, which is an amazing kind of book that like traverses the 20th century, includes photography, includes like meditations, includes philosophy, and in some way opens the way for us to think 21st century novels and so on. Well, it was, um, it meant a lot to be part of the Bogota Ferdinand selection. It was a great joy and also I think a great responsibility because we're here to think what it means to write nowadays as a Latin American young writer. And I hope that through our discussions we'll be able to return to writing with a different perspective. Well, I feel like for me, since I was born in Costa Rica and then I moved to Puerto Rico, it was clear that I was like not only Puerto Rican, I was not only Costa Rican, but really Latin American, and that was my identity. I think being Latin American is a, it's a political move, it's a political strategy in order for us to, to regain our identity as a whole continent and to be able to imagine identities beyond the nation. So my favorite word is a funny one because it's the word vaina, which is a very Caribbean word that really doesn't mean anything. It's kind of like thing. So it really, it interests me because it doesn't mean anything, but at the same time it means everything. So I like it a lot. <laughs>